right, coaches, welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group channel. This is Coach Coltharp out of North Carolina, and today I thought we would talk a little bit about, um, about sale. Um, I had a couple of messages from some coaches asking about sale, and, um, you, know, I, I, you know, one of the questions was, you know, Coach, I see, I see a lot of, of three-by-one stuff out of sale, and, you know, my head coach doesn't really want us getting in much three-by-one and, and so how can we run sale um, out, of, out of that? So I thought what I would do is I would go over a couple of ways on the board and then kind of follow it up with a couple of cut-ups um, and talk about a couple of different ways to run sale. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is out of Halo. You know, it's our, it's our two-by-one, uh, two you know, kind of open set with our H to the weak side. So, you know, we call that Halo, H to the left, and then Hero would be H to the right. I try to use one word, uh, you know, play, play formation so that we don't have to get directional in those kind of things. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really the thing about it is, is, is if you think about the wing T, uh, you know, the wing T has waggle and then they have, you know, boot. And, and that's kind of weak flood and strong flood. Well, the air is the same way. Um, I can remember when I started working, you know, for Coach Lovett and the boys at, at Grace Creek and, and I was learning their offense, I, I, I talked to Coach Mummy. And he said, well, well, you know why cross is nothing but waggle. Huh? He's like, yeah, it's, it's kind of basically the same situation. You know, it's weak flood. And if you think about it, if you draw a Y cross up out of air raid formations and then you compare it to the same route in, um, in wing T, it's pretty much the same thing without the run fake and the roll. Um, and it's the same way with the flood. So basically, sail is strong flood, Y cross is weak flood. So let's talk about, you know, the, the easy part of that, and that's the 10 yard out. And, and you'll see in some of the clips that we're looking at that the 10 yard out isn't always an out. It's get the 10 and then get to grass. Okay, and that, that's the important piece. Now, however you want to get your, your bottom flood, you can. If you want to, you know, fast motion this guy and have him kind of sit and wait, that's an interesting way to do it. Um, you can send H in motion. It doesn't matter which back. You just got to have a back over here, some way, shape, or form. And then what, what the big coaching point to me is Z. And, and we, we want him to run what we call a take two. And I kind of got this from Tony Franklin. You know, this is kind of his, his terminology on that. It's this idea that we want him to run a vertical, but instead of running the more route vertical, I want him to run a take two vertical, meaning I want him to run dead at this strong safety. I want him to run dead at this strong safety, which forces him to get covered, okay? It forces him to get covered. And, and so, but what also happens is if the strong safety is bound and determined to be on man, it's gonna open up the inside of that field. But we're, we're really what we want him to do is take those two guys and give us that piece of grass right there in the two by one. Now, obviously, if we go three by one, you know, the H, you know, we talk about this in area system a little bit, he can do that. He can do this. He can do a bunch of different things, however you want to do that in, in the three-by look stuff. Uh, but in the two-by-two, two, you know, that, that's kind of what you're looking at is that take two by the, uh, by the Z. And then on the back side, you know, obviously, we're going we're gonna to put curl flat like so. Um, you can play action it. I, I, I love to roll. Um, in, in our roll scheme, I don't know if you've seen our, our rollout video. I talk a little bit about this, and I'll put, the, put that in the, in the description today. You can go back and look at uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. We talk about rodeo and lasso, our rollout stuff. I love to roll to sail. Um, you know, sail is one of those routes that you see constantly, um, at least in our region. You know, everybody, everybody we play runs some sort of strong flood route, you know, the three-level route. It's not, it's not something that's, you know, Similar to the um, to the air raid or anything like that, but just looking at sale, you, you understand basically what you're doing is you're trying to clear out this guy here, um, you know, and, and you're gonna go one, uh, two, kind of three on that deal, um, and, and really you can read it either way. You could go one, two, three, four, which is kind of how we do it. It just depends. But I, I'm just that guy. I, I like to throw backs. And, and, and to be honest, I don't really call 94 like this um, out of drop back much. And I probably should. But I, I prefer, um, you know, 60, 61, 62. I, I prefer flat. 
than, than sell, um, you know, for whatever reason. If I just want to throw a quick out, I would rather do that. But, you know, like I said, one of the, one of the reasons why we do these short videos is so that you can look at these ideas and, and kind of make it your own. Um, I kind of want to start a new, a new thing. Um, down in the comments down below, if you have a question about any concept or anything, um, go ahead and, and put it in the comments. And then what I'm going to start doing is start picking, you know, two or three comments. And then one day a week, I'll take comments from all the videos and just answer questions. So if you have a particular question that you want, yesterday's video was in response to a question off of Twitter. So if you... Um, if you have a question about something you want me to cover, put it down in the comments and then, you know, later on this week what I'll do is I'll go back on the previous three or four videos and pull some questions and then what we'll do in the video is I'll answer those questions if you have something in particular you want to talk about. Um, I just thought that would be interesting, you know, kind of like a, a live stream without having a live stream. Um, I know a lot of us are really excited to be back into football practice this week. Um, you know, most of us, you know, in the South we have these dead periods now with, uh, you know, the way, the way we're allowed to practice with kids in the summertime. And most of us in North Carolina, we're dead, and then we'll be dead again next week for our state coaches uh, association tournament uh, tournament uh, clinic. And, and so if you're a North Carolina guy and you're going to be at the, um, at the clinic, hit me up on, on Twitter. Maybe we can, we can get together and, and have, a, have a lunch one of the days or something, or, you know, everybody sit around and we can talk a little bit and do some things like that. Also, I'm really excited. Um, that uh, here in the next few days, I'm going to have an opportunity to talk to Damon West, one of the authors of The Coffee Bean. Uh, I talked to him a little bit last week. Uh, we're going to do a, a, a Coffee with Coach interview with him. Damon is, is awesome. If you haven't checked him out, look at uh, DamonWest.org. He's spoken to Clemson. He's spoken to Alabama, a bunch of big-time football programs. And his story really resonates um, you know, as a guy who had everything and then let it go away and then now trying to do some do some good things. But if you haven't checked this out, check this book out and I'll put a link to it on the website if you haven't purchased it. But it's a great book. It's about 70 pages, but I'm telling you, it's worth every bit of it. Um, but I'll be talking to Damon um, here in the next few days and we'll probably get that up on the channel. Um, also, if you haven't checked out uh, Coach Salas, Coach Joe Salas' channel, go back and, and check that out. He's got two videos on there that are exceptional. Uh, they talk about being a, an elite assistant coach, and, and him and I are going to have a, a conversation, and we're going to have that up on, on the channel for you to look at, too. And I'm telling you, he, he is just, if you're, if you're into turning around programs and, and those kind of things, and, you know, he, he is that guy. You know, he's that guy. His X's and O's are really good, but I'm telling you, as far as climate and culture and things like that, there's, there's no better. So, like I said, here's, here's – uh, Here's sale on the board. Now let's cut to some, some video clips we'll go through. All right, coaches, here we go. We're going to get into a little bit of film study here, and, and we're going to watch uh, Oklahoma against Baylor. Here they are in, uh, in, in Hero Stack, and, and let's see what happens when, they're, when they run 94. And, and you'll see that this, this is kind of a deal where the take two doesn't really occupy. They, they kind of get a, a, a bad call defensively to run this play against but but you can see the tight end the tight end is having to work his way inside right there and then to get back out it's not ideal but you know the quarterback stays with it now obviously this kid right here there's a reason why he's an all pro type kid um you know this ball that he throws is ridiculous um, you know, he's going to hit it in there, but it just kind of shows that, that you want to throw to, to places and not people. Um, but, but you can see that, that you don't really want to try to, you don't want to tell your why, or you want to tell your why to try not to get pushed inside. Here's Georgia kind of running the same concept, you know, this sale concept out of two back and you'll see there's look what happens when he outside releases right here. When this Y outside releases, it almost becomes a nice little pick for the back into the backfield. And, you know, you'll take that every day. That's, you know, that's five yards. And, and you know, second and five, who's going to complain? I love the uh, I love the release right here, you know, by the safe, you know, onto the safety. He takes the two away like he should. And, uh, you know, the they're going to ride the slide and, and the quarterback just takes what he gives them. And I think that's important, you know, in the air raid is, is don't give up or don't pass up, you know, open receivers trying to get something you want. And then here is uh, here's Alabama. And, and this is kind of a, a three by one uh, 94. And, and what I want you to see in particular is, is what they do with this guy. Um, you know, it's kind of a tag. He's going to come in and sit 
and, and then they're going to run the sail here. And I, and I showed you guys this a little bit on the board. You know, a lot of guys will just run the flat route with him. Watch what they do um, with number two right here. You know, he's going to run that little hitch and then work his way out. And it does a really good job of opening the sail part of the levels um, for for the quarterback. And you'll see it right here. It kind of it pulls this, you know, it pulls the flat defender down. It's kind of hard to do this when you're not on huddle, but it's going to pull this flat defender down away and give the quarterback a chance to throw a good ball. And you'll you'll kind of see it from the end zone copy a little bit better, I think. Um, but let's check that out real quick. You'll see. You know, he's just going to strike that ball into the grass and go get it and, and keep it moving. And so, you know, this is 94. It's, it's a good play. It's a strong side flood play. You can do it out of, you know, three by one. You can do it by two by two. Um, like I said, you can see Baker when he rolled to that end of that first clip. And, you know, hopefully this kind of helps you a little bit, gives you some ideas. Um, like I was saying, you know, comments down below. If you have a question about anything, even this video or another video or just an idea or something like that, I'm going to start taking uh, – you know, one video a week and, and taking comments from other videos and, and cutting them up and, and trying to answer some questions. So if you have a question about anything in particular, comment the video down below, um, hit, you know, drop us a like and share. We're so close to a thousand subscribers now. I can't tell you guys how excited I am about that. You guys have been have been wonderful supporting the channel. Um, you guys have been wonderful supporting the Total Air Race system. We got a couple of days left on the sale. Um, you know, we got some some merchandise uh, working. I met with a guy this morning about some shirts and things for you guys. If if you want those things, you know, we're not trying to make a ton of money on shirts. We're just trying to be able to pay for them. And, uh, you know, so they'll be really, really affordable and we'll have some things. And and like I said, if you're going to be at the North Carolina Coaches Clinic in Greensboro uh, in, in, a in a couple of weeks or next week, you know, hit me up on Twitter, man. Let's let's get a let's get a mesh group air raid uh, uh you know, get together together. Let's all sit down and, you know, maybe break some bread and talk football and, and, and talk about where we're going to go this season and how we're all going to spin it to win. Mm -hmm.